Michael, how much has last week just reset the bar for the final four games of the season? It was just a good performance. Uh, we don't want the season to tail off, as sometimes it happens uh, at some clubs, but we, we didn't think it would happen. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, it's, it was just a marker of what we can do. The, the shape, they didn't really hurt us. Scott's not really had many things to do. Uh, disappointed with the goal and we, we had some good chances so it, it was just another marker of the progress being made And George Lloyd how much is he pushing for a start now? No they're all pushing for a start uh, Lloyd he, he'd done what we said he'd gone out alone and learnt uh, when we brought him back we had no intention of sending him back out and he came on and affected the game and he, it, was a, you know, it was a great ball but it was an unbelievable header um, and, and he's showing that he wants to learn and he's he scored goals in the reserves, which is all you can ask him to do. He can only score against the opposition that's put in front of you. Rakish did the same, scored a hat-trick in the game. So it's, it's what you want, different options. And talking of strikers, how's Luke Varney from his return to play protocol? Is he, is he fully back there? Yeah, uh, Reg is available now. So he's he's ticked all the boxes. So he, he trained fully yesterday, so he'll be uh, he'll be fine. Everyone else OK that you've had to be picking from of late? Yeah, no, nothing new. Obviously, you've got the long-termers, but other than that, it's, uh, it's all everyone available. And that's important going into, I suppose, your last spell of games where you've got you know two pretty close together over Easter. Yeah, I'm sure the squad will get used uh, over the next two games. Um, but that's, like I said, the, you, look, you turn around at the bench now and you see quality. It's, you've, got, you've got quality not on the bench now, which is it's taken a lot of hard work and they're all up and running they're all, and they all want to play. So that's, that's what you want. You, we've still got competition for places at this stage of the season, which is pleasing. Do you have to sort of pick one team and then sort of wait and see for Monday or you know, can you sort of have plans for Monday at this stage as well? Uh, you've obviously got an idea of what you want but until you know what's available there's no point you just get disappointed so you could, it's alright having a perfect team but we've got an idea of what we want to do for the Morecambe game because of the way they play but obviously first things first look after the first game so that they're, they're, they're sort of like a ghost team uh, in the in the distance, but first and foremost is, is Saturday. We want to, two home games left. We want to we want to keep this home record going. We want to deliver another good performance. Uh, that does seem to be a bit of a feel good factor at the minute, quite rightly so, because the players have delivered good performances and the fans have bought into that as well. So hopefully uh, we can go again. Oldham, I mean they've had even more upheaval this season than Cheltenham. Yeah, that Pete's done a good job. Obviously they had the the high profile of. Paul Scholes coming in uh, and all the press that went with it lasted a month and Pete had them on a good run before that had a good cup run Paul Scholes came in left Pete's taken over again and I think they've lost one in seven so they're on another good run uh, so he, he's got them going they have a way of playing you know, they are 4-4-2 with two proper wingers so uh, they look to switch it and get it forward and get crosses in the box so it'll be a tough game and you mentioned they're on a good run, you're on a good run. There do seem to be a few teams in the middle of the table at the moment, results-wise. They're on nice little runs, add in what, um, Newport, Swindon as well. Is that just a sign of actually what teams can do when the pressure's off? It depends what you call by pressure. I think we've been playing with a lot of pressure up until the last couple of weeks, maybe not so, but four, five, six months I've been in, we've been playing under unbelievable pressure, knowing that every point counts. Uh so we and we've just carried that on when the pressures come up. But there's pressure to win. The players, are, the players, they want to win. They're the competitive animals. They're here because during their whole life growing up, they've wanted to win. So that's that. That, that the pressure comes from within now, and that's what we're asking. So and, and the players have taken that on. And I suppose it's about being professional and trying to find themselves a deal for next season, whether it's here or elsewhere. But actually, it's it's you know they've got to be looking to the future as well, haven't they? Yeah, I, I think it's just a bigger picture. There's always a bigger. There's always every player's got their own agenda, but it's about putting your agendas aside and deliver a performance for ninety minutes. The future will look after itself, but it's the game that's the most important thing. So that's what we're asking the players today. And fair to say, because we've heard nothing this week, discussions still just ongoing behind the scenes, but nothing to report as yet. No, nothing.